What is up, you guys? It's me again, your boy, Slash Fanatic. And here I am now for my top 10 favorite modern slasher movies. Yes, that's right, modern from 2011 to where we are now. Let's do this. Number 10 is here next. A home invasion slasher. Number 9 is The Strangers 2 Pray at Night, another home invasion slasher movie. Heck yeah. Number 8 is Happy Death Day. Now, I love Happy Death Day. I freaking love that movie so much. Seriously, Happy Death Day. Well, it was like ground. It was like Groundhog Day, you know, but with the slasher twisted in there. And you know me, I freaking love the slasher genre. I freaking love the slasher genre. Um, I very happy that they did very good job with its Groundhog Day slasher premise. Very very great job. Very well done. Number seven is Freaky. Now think of that iconic movie Freaky Friday, but again with the slasher twist to it. You know because you know right and like. Both of the actors, uh, Vince Vaughn and uh, Catherine Newton, did a really great job in the walls. Says if you guys haven't seen Freaky yet from 2020, very damn good slasher, very damn good comedy slasher. Really love that movie. So really love that movie a lot. Oh yeah, number seven is number seven is going to be the year that my favorite slasher icon came back. And yes, that is Curse of Chucky. Curse of Chucky got us back on track from the garbage that was Seed of Chucky. Curse of Chucky brought back that dark, iconic, awesome, scary Chucky again. And I love it for that. It's just, it's just so amazing, you guys. Just so, so awesome and amazing. Oh, yeah. Number six for me is going to be Halloween 2018. Now, this was the first big slasher release I got to see in the theaters, guys. It was just such an awesome experience alone. The theater experience, getting to see one of the big slasher icons in the theaters. It was just so awesome. Halloween 2018 kicked so much ass. It was just so, so amazing. The kills are brutal. Michael, played by James Dude Courtney, is my favorite portrayal of Michael. The mask is my favorite mask in 2018. Just, God, I love Halloween 2018 so much. Halloween 2018. Thank you so much for bringing back the slashers. Thank you, Halloween 2018. Thank you. Anyway, next up. <clears throat> next up for me is... Number five for me is going to be... Number five for me is going to be Halloween Kills. I do not get the hate for this movie at all. Even those people that say, Oh, people are making stupid decisions. We Guys, they had to in order for Michael to win. Because, yes, Michael wins at the end of this movie. This was the Avengers Infinity War of the Halloween movies, where the villain wins in the end. And it is awesome. And I liked it for that. You got some brutal as hell kills. And Michael, once again, played by James Stewart Courtney, so awesome. Seriously, such a badass Michael. He got that iconic, you know, you know, you know John Carpenter. Bl gosh, bless him for coming back to do the music. Seriously, music. It's awesome once again. Halloween kills. Seriously, love Halloween kills. Love it. Number four for me is gonna be Halloween ends. Yeah, that's right. All you haters, all you haters of this movie. Oh, Cory, oh, Cory wrestled Michael to the ground and stole his mask. Wee, 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 wee. Wee, why was it this movie? Why was it this movie, Michael and Michael and Michael versus Zoe? Why, why do we have to wait till the last minute? Wee, 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 wee. Guys, guys, you guys just don't want something different. You know what I mean? You guys just don't want something different. And again, I was fine with the whole Corey wrestling Michael to the ground. Now, I understand all of you diehard Halloween fans are going to be so pissed. Now, all of. I, I understand that, trust me, because if that was Chucky or Freddy that got pushed down and being like, you're just a man in a red and green sweater, or you're just a man in good, you're just a toy in good guy overalls, trust me, I would be, I would be right there with you saying, screw that, but since I'm not, since I am a casual Halloween fan, I, I actually liked that part. 
and you know what I mean? Again, something new and different for the Halloween franchise. Just rant over. Uh, Halloween ends. It's freaking awesome. Says that. We'll never understand that. Number three for me is going to be... Number three for me is going to be Megan. That's right. Um, now, I enjoyed Megan. Just such, an, uh, such a really good movie. And yes, I know it's PG-13. And yes, I understand that. And the kills... You know, our PG-13. I understand that. But, much like with Happy Dead Today, um, and much like another movie I'm going to be talking about here on later on the list, that I was okay with that. Because, you know, now yes, would, the, would I have liked to see some blood? Yes, absolutely. But the kills worked for what they were. Most definitely, guys. Most definitely, for sure. Hell yeah. So, like, yeah, that is my... Number three, coming in at my number two is going to be one you probably never heard. No, coming in at my number two for me is going to be the Child's Play remake. I loved this remake. And seriously, I would much rather have a sequel to this remake than what we're getting now out of Chucky. That's right. But it sucks that we will never see that at all. Mark Hamill did a good job as the voice. Yes, it's not Brad Dorff, but he still did a good job. How, and Gabriel Bateman did a good job as Andy, Aubrey Plaza did a good job as Andy's mom, Karen, kills, bloody and gory, freaking awesome kills, let's seriously, seriously, so awesome kills, you have the lawnmower kill, which is badass, you have, you have the table saw kill, which is, oh, that kill's so freaking awesome, man, the carnage candy, the carnage candy was rocking in Child's Play 2019, hell yeah, and you can't deny that. I loved the fact that, you know, that, you know, Andy and Chucky were actually friends in the remake, you know, because we never got that in the original franchise, you know. He was always trying to go after Andy. But, like, yeah, you know, damn good remake. Freaking awesome. I freaking love that remake. Hell yeah. And if honorable mentions include the final girls, um, honorable mentions for me would include the final girls and, uh, yeah, but for me, my number one favorite slasher movie of modern slasher movie is going to be, ooh, you guys ever seen The Collect, you guys ever seen, you know that one movie called, you know, The Collection, think of it as pretty much an action slasher movie, yeah, an action slasher movie, and, a, and you know, and as, a, and as a big fan of the action genre and the slasher genre, I love I love the collection so much. Seriously, the collection. Damn good slasher movie. Hell yeah. Seriously. But anyway, guys, that is just my list of top 10 modern slasher movies. Let me know your guys' list down below in the comment section. Anyway, we'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more amazing slash-tastic videos. Goodbye. And as always, guys, keep on slashing.